wondered how different One Piece would be if Luffy was Whitebeard's son instead of Dragon's? This twist would reshape his connections with Ace and Blackbeard entirely. So, what's Luffy's new backstory? It's surprisingly heartwarming. At some point, Whitebeard found love with an unnamed woman, and they had a child. However, tragedy struck during childbirth, taking the life of Luffy's mother and leaving Whitebeard devastated. During this time, Whitebeard already had his crew, and he was executed only a few months before Luffy's birth. Luffy grew up close to the Whitebeard pirates, especially Marco, whom he admired because Marco was a talking flaming parrot. As time passed, Luffy followed in his father's footsteps and became a member of the Whitebeard Pirates at just 15. Unlike his original self, Luffy didn't have the Gomu Gomu no Mi and relied on his strength and proficiency with hockey. The encounter with Ace. How would Luffy meet Ace in this timeline? Luffy's connection to the Whitebeard Pirates meant he learned about Ace through them. Whitebeard informed Luffy that they would meet Ace in the future and advised him not to harm Ace, as he was the son of a rival. Soon after, the Whitebeard Pirates moved after hearing that Jinbai was fighting Ace. When they arrived, Ace and Jinbai were at a stalemate. In this story, Whitebeard initially intended to fight Ace himself, but Luffy pleaded for the chance to prove his strength. Whitebeard agreed, and Luffy, with his brass knuckles infused with advanced armament hockey, faced Ace. Despite Ace being tired and hurt, the fight almost ended in a stalemate. Due to a bit of luck, Luffy managed to knock Ace out. Before Luffy could finish him, Whitebeard stopped the fight and offered Ace to join his crew. Though Ace refused, he eventually woke up on Whitebeard's ship. The rivalry and bond. How would the relationship between Luffy and Ace evolve? Initially, they hated each other and fought constantly. Their rivalry led to respect and they became inseparable. Luffy became the second division commander, with Ace as his vice commander. They enjoyed their lives under Whitebeard's flag until Blackbeard's betrayal changed everything. The hunt for Blackbeard. What would happen when Blackbeard committed murder? Luffy, bound by Whitebeard's code of honor, had to avenge that. Ace, seeing Blackbeard as too dangerous, volunteered to accompany Luffy. Their journey to find Blackbeard spanned months, following his tracks from Marine Scout ships. They finally found Blackbeard on Benaro Island, already with his own crew. The battle with Blackbeard. How intense would their battle with Blackbeard be? Luffy and Ace fought Blackbeard, who had the Yami Yami Nomi. Ace held Blackbeard off while Luffy took out his crew. Blackbeard's devastating attack consumed the entire island in darkness. Ace told Luffy to retreat and call for backup, despite Luffy's reluctance. Luffy returned to the Moby Dick, leaving Ace behind, who was eventually captured and imprisoned in Impel Down. Mariniford War What changes in the Mariniford War? Luffy didn't invade Impel Down, instead, he stayed with Whitebeard, planning the attack on Mariniford to rescue Ace. The Whitebeard pirates fought fiercely, with Luffy leading. He had no devil fruit, relying on his strength, technique, and hockey. The absence of backup pirates from Impel Down altered the battle dynamics significantly. The final showdown. How would the final showdown unfold? Whitebeard and Luffy saved Ace from execution. They fought valiantly against the Marines. Despite their efforts, the admirals arrived, turning the tide. Luffy's use of Conqueror's hockey shocked Garp, giving Luffy a chance to land a clean shot. Asaka Zuki activated his Devil Fruit to attack Ace and Luffy. They managed to break Ace's handcuffs and dodge the attack. Whitebeard's sacrifice. What would Whitebeard's final act be? In one of the most emotional moments, Whitebeard told Ace and Luffy to escape while he stayed behind. Despite their reluctance, they agreed. Whitebeard blocked Sakazuki's attack with his body, sacrificing himself for his crew and family. Luffy and Ace, as the captain and vice captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, continued to roam the seas. The aftermath how would they deal with Blackbeard's growing threat? After the Mariniford War, the Whitebeard Pirates faced new threats as Blackbeard made moves in the New World. Luffy, wielding Whitebeard's Devil Fruit, and Ace led their crew to reclaim their territories. With newfound determination, they prepared for payback against Blackbeard. The ultimate revenge, how would they exact their revenge on Blackbeard? One year after Mariniford, Luffy rallied the Whitebeard Pirates for a final showdown with Blackbeard. They found Blackbeard's crew on a remote island and launched an intense battle. Despite Blackbeard's powerful devil fruit, Luffy's awakened Gora Gora and Nomi allowed him to shake the entire island. Luffy and Ace, severely wounded, faced Blackbeard's final attack. The victory, would they finally defeat Blackbeard? In a climactic moment, Luffy's awakened devil fruit power defeated Blackbeard, saving Ace. The rest of Blackbeard's crew retreated, and Luffy and Ace avenged Thatch and Whitebeard. Their journey continued, stronger and more united than ever. Make sure to subscribe and smash the like button for more One Piece videos.